What's up Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you my comparison collection or censored versus uncensored. This collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I have here in my hand has a lot of names, so I'm going to have to go with censored versus uncensored. All right, first things are always first. I'm going to start off with the cards that you can get in Japan in Japan alone or the cards that never made it over here to the West. First, we have the iconic Horn Imp. When I got my first starter deck, Yugi, I was looking for this guy because I saw the Feral Imp, but I didn't see Horn Imp. But yeah, only in Japan. Very cool. Next is Air Eater, and believe it or not, Kaiba actually owns this monster. Don't believe me? Here's proof. Oh! Listen to me, old man. Give me your blue eyes white dragon card and I'll trade you all of these. Alright, the next card is White Dolphin. This card is a very common card in the Yu-Gi-Oh! game for the Game Boy Advance called Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Ghoul with an appetite. And is it just me or does his stomach look a lot like a vagina? And finally, last but most certainly not least, the iconic Cyber Commander, which also happens to be Tristan's favorite. I don't know why he loves this card so much, but he's just very boisterous about owning it. <laughs> I mean, really, take a look. The Flame Swordsman kicks everybody's butt. <laughs> not my guys, the Cyber Commander. Now, some people ask me, how much did these cards cost? Because they're in mint condition and plus, they were only released in Japan and never made it over here to the U.S. Well, I got these cards for very, very cheap. And I will now tell you the prices of each individual card. Ghoul with an Appetite, $1. White Dolphin, $15. Horn Imp, $5. Cyber Commander, $5. And finally, Air Eater. Six dollars. All right, it's time for censored versus uncensored. First, the monsters. The first monster on the list is Lesser Fiend. Here's what he looks like here in the U.S. And here's what he looks like in Japan. Looking like Satan with four arms. Holy shit. Next, Ejection Fairy Lily. One of my favorite spellcasters to use. Here's what she looks like in the U.S. And here's what she looks like in Japan. Yeah, the Japanese Ejection Fairy Lily with the red crosses as the background and, of course, on her hat is very hard to find. Well, in my opinion, it is. Because sometimes if you were to purchase an Ejection Fairy Lily in Japanese, it will most likely look like the one from the West. So, yeah. Next is the original Harpy Lady. Here's what she looks like here in the West, fully clothed. And here is the Japanese one. Very little clothes, big boobies, and sexy cleavage. Ooh la la. <laughs> Next is Water Omotics. Here's what she looks like here in the West. And here is the Japanese one. This is literally the most revealing Yu-Gi-Oh card of them all. <laughs> oh, man. Next is Dark Witch. U.S. Japan. All right, next is one of the newer cards called Spicy Spy. Here is the U.S. version. And here is the Japanese version. Now, you can clearly see that she has more of her thighs showing. And, of course, she has a lot more cleavage. This guy is smoking a cigar. And I'm not too sure if you can see that. But one of the guys in the background has heart eyes. If you can't see it, I will do a close-up. Here it is right now. Bam! So there is the guy that I was talking about, the one with heart eyes. And the reason why they censored the heart eyes over here in the West, it's because the heart eyes indicate lust and finally last but most certainly not least for the monster cards is maji gire panda now i've seen this card have some play in the past but i've never really used this card myself when i started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i just basically kept it for collecting purposes 
So here is the English version compared to the Japanese one where it shows a very, very graphic depiction of domestic violence. Yeah, this is literally the darkest Yu-Gi-Oh card ever made. <laughs> oh man, like that is crazy. I mean, look at that. I don't know why this panda is mad. Maybe his dinner tasted like shit and he decided to take it out on his wife and kids. I mean, seriously, look at them. See, there they are right there. There's the mother panda and the child panda crying in fear. And when Konami was censoring this card, they actually addressed that that head right over there on the dresser, or whatever the fuck that is. They said that is actually the head of another child. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh cards in Japan. Sexy and fucked up. The more you know. Alright, now it's time to move on to spells and traps. Alright, for the first spell card on the list is the iconic shield and sword. There's the Japanese one. One of the oldest cards in my collection, Premature Burial. Here's the Japanese one. Now, for a long time, I honestly thought that was a red X, but if you look closely, it's an upside-down cross. Chorus of Sanctuary. Dion Keto, the Cure Master. Japanese. Book of Life. There's the Japanese one. Now, I'm not too sure if you guys can see it, but there is actually a little mini Egyptian cross on the book. Can you see that? If not, here's a close-up. Boom. Yep, there's that little cross thingy right in between the two statues of Anubis, I believe. All right, next is the iconic... Soul release. Foolish burial. And finally, last but most certainly not least, the iconic Dark Magic Curtain. And everybody knows what this card does. Pay half of your life points to automatically summon the one, the only, my favorite monster of all time in the entire game, Dark Magician. And there's the Japanese one. And now, last but most certainly not least, for my censored versus uncensored collection, the traps. Alright, for the first of the traps we have Ultimate Offering. Here is the one in the West. And here is the Japanese one. I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh, yep, there we go. That is blood. <laughs> Backup soldier. There's the Japanese one. Dramatic rescue. And finally, Magic Jammer. All right, you guys, there you have it. That was my censored versus uncensored collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I cannot wait until that collection gets bigger because I want to put all those babies in a binder. And once that collection gets a little bigger, I want to show them off in a future video for like a little update, if you will. So, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have something to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos. I'm Anime Warlord, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace!